hello guys uh, welcome back to my new video uh, sorry i could not make uh, uh, videos for few days because i was shifting my home uh, so i did not have a proper internet connection so i'll be starting from today again um, sorry for that uh, so let's start in this uh, video i'll be exp i'll be uh, creating a webbed in pro application okay so let's start uh, i'll just open fiery apps library first So let it open. Uh, let me exp. So let me explain about uh, these webbed in pro applications. Basically, they were built uh, for uh, like desktop based web web applications. They are desktop based, and uh, usually you cannot see these webbed in pro application. They cannot be used in uh, smartphones or mobiles. Okay, and these applications were made of uh, Java or ABAP. Uh, they were using either java or abap what is the difference between web din pro and sap ui5 is these sap ui5 are built on html html5 javascript uh, javascript and uh, css they use these things but these web din pro applications are built using java and abap so this is the basic difference between these two and uh, uh, these sap ui5 applications are supported uh, for uh, mobile mobile phones also but uh, this webbed in pro application is basically for desktop only uh, not for other things but you can uh, as of uh, nowadays you can also use in tablets also uh, that's the different thing uh, so this is the main difference and uh, webbed in pro applications usually have sap hana database only uh, so um, this is what uh, webbed in pro applications are mm. So let's start uh, creating a catalog uh, for web din pro application. So let me open my Fiery Apps library. So let me filter it with uh, web din pro applications. Go for filter and application type. I will keep it as web din pro. As I am using uh, S4 HANA 2023, I will be filtering it with that. And uh, so you can see this, right? These are the different web application, web DIN Pro applications which are uh, available in Fiery li Apps Library. So you can see, right? Uh, our database is always HANA, HANA, DB, HANA DB database. Okay, and the application type is webbed in pro. You can see this, right? Device type is desktop and tablet. Uh, you cannot much see uh, uh, this one, smartphones. In all, most of the applications, it's always desktop and tablet only, not any other things. Okay, let's see. Let's start uh, creating uh, this asset balances, this application. Okay. So app ID is F16. Let's go for implementation information and uh, let's see what's there present here and installation and this is our configuration. So here also you will not see IWSV and IWSG services. But you can see this right ICF nodes for webbed in pro application. These nodes should be activated uh, going to the T code SICF. You need to go for the T code. Uh, SICF and you have to activate this service this node you can usually it will be activated at the time of implementation of this query only see you can see this right this is already activated web din pro see it's already activated so active activate service is already grayed out uh, it means it's already activated so the next step is we'll we'll start go we'll go and create a catalog for that. It's 
so admin 204 and uh, okay let's start creating a catalog I'll just create a catalog with tile as asset content and ID will be ZBC business catalog and ASCT asset ACC OU and TANT so this is our catalog okay and click on save so our catalog is created now we need to create a reference and add the tile so I'll be taking this business catalog and I'll search it here you can see this right this is what we are creating this is what we are going to create asset balances asset balances so just drag and uh, drop it there and search for your application search for your catalog and then click on search you'll find and we have to add the target mapping so what's target mapping it's there here fixed asset display balances the action is display balances uh, search for that you can see this here right or you can search here also so once you select that click on create reference and search your catalog again it will be present in the first only but I prefer to search it again and click on search sometimes when you are clicking something it, it go and click somewhere else so now you go and now a reference is created you can see this right tile is added okay so now our catalog is created uh, the next step as you know we need to create spaces and pages so for that I'll launch this I'll just take this you cannot see anything related to asset as of now uh, I'll just go and create a space see in real time scenarios you'll not be creating these spaces these many times actually usually how it will be like for one business process either it will be one or two spaces that's it like if it's finance module it will be one or two spaces uh, and pages will be uh, uh, different for each and every sub business processes uh, you will not go and be creating space and page for each and everything uh, as of now I am showing you how to create that set but in real time scenarios the spaces should be less as much as less possible like for one business process if it's a finance then it should be either two or three and then the sub process for the sub process will be your pages uh, like in finance you have accounts payable accounts receivable and then either uh, further the task you will be uh, categorized, categorized right so for there you will be having sections you can create those sections there okay so I'll be adding ZSP uh, and uh, asset ACC and uh, asset accountant it will be the same I'll also create a page so I'll create a page as asset display PG I'll keep my space it here
ओके एंड ओके नाउ अवर पेज इज क्रिएटेड एंड व्हाट्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज जस्ट गो एंड क्रिएट द रोल जेड एस सी वेन एवर यू आर क्रिएटिंग एनी रोल और यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग ट्राई टू क्रिएट इट विद द प्रॉपर नेमिंग कन्वेंशन डोंट जस्ट गो एंड क्रिएट टेस्ट एंड जस्ट क्रिएट अ रोल कीप द नेमिंग कन्वेंशन वेन यू गिव कीप दिस नेमिंग कन्वेंशन यूजली इन रियल टाइम सिनारियोज इट विल बी वेरी यूजफुल सो स्टार्टिंग दिस फर्स्ट शुड बी सिंगल रोल और कॉम्पोजिट रोल जी और वाई इट शुड स्टार्ट विद जी और वाई एंड यस मीन सिंगल मास्टर डिराइव कॉम्पोजिट रोल दोज नेमिंग कन्वेंशन यू शुड बी हैविंग keep it in mind and you have to create the rules as per uh, the organization's naming convention mm, so zs and uh, what's the module finance and asset accountant it's asset display display and click on single rule okay finance balance asset balance right yes yes asset balance display and click on menu and click on yes okay and uh, i'll be adding here the catalog okay catalog what's catalog id this is your catalog id okay don't include the application just click on continue your catalog is added you can see nothing is there here and uh, your space is this one you'll add the space so once you add the space click on continue so both catalog and spaces are added then click on save so you can see here right authorizations you cannot see any authorizations you are not adding any iwsg or iwsp services so here you have to do it in a different way i'll show you first i'll just keep it like this i'll show you what you can see in there uh, so you'll go here uh, and uh, you'll take your space and once you take the space you just uh, go and open your page there so once you open the page this is your asset uh, page display and click on edit and uh, this is your section asset display and this is your id okay click on save you can also preview it here how it looks like this is how it looks once you add so these are the things what you can see how the page actually looks like and just go back and uh, you'll i'll be adding it to my id itself adm admin 204 and click on save okay then see you cannot see that uh, you can see this space you can see this asset balances but you click on that So you can see this right the apps keeps on loading you will not be able to see any screen further i'll just try to refresh and see 
you have not added any authorizations there okay why because we have not added any authorizations here that's how you need to add you have to click on this transaction only you can see this here right web den pro application you have to add this where you'll get this uh, just go for your launch uh, fiery apps library you can see this web den pro application right just copy this and paste it over here click on save and go for authorizations then you can see this right you can see the authorizations popping up now so once you add that webdin pro application you'll get everything here click on generate just go back now it's loaded see this is how you create webdin pro applications see as of now it's not loading it it directly gives you so uh thank you for uh watching this video uh, kindly uh, share with share, share it with your friends and uh, uh, kindly subscribe i'll be uh, in from next video onwards i'll be showing you what are the different fiery authorization errors and also i'll be uh, starting parallelly i'll be starting uh, grc um, implementation videos also uh and uh, some of the interview questions related to sap uh, and grc and fiery also uh, kindly uh, like share and subscribe thank you friends bye